I'm Jamie, and in this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure a simple, bridged, point-to-point -point link using two Airmax AC radios. AeroS 7, the next generation of radio configuration and management software, comes pre-installed on all Airmax AC devices and can be freely downloaded from Ubiquiti's website. This powerful web software is simple to use, yet versatile for deployment in any outdoor wireless network. By default, each Ubiquiti radio has an IP address of 192.168.1.20. During initial configuration, my laptop is on the same local network with an IP address of 192.168.1.10. Make sure that the radios are on separate physical segments to avoid IP conflict and later to avoid a network loop. In your web browser, navigate to 192.168.1.20 then navigate to the wireless page. Select Access Point PTP from the Wireless Mode dropdown when configuring the AP side of the point-to-point -point link. Assign an SSID which the AP will broadcast so that the remote station radio can see, associate, and connect to the AP. Because the available channel settings are dependent on region, make sure the correct country code is selected at time of initial configuration. Select a channel width from the drop-down menu. Also known as channel bandwidth, the channel width determines the total capacity of the wireless link. Although larger bandwidths have greater throughput potential, they also require a higher signal-to-noise ratio. As a principle, wider channel widths are better for short-distance links, while narrower channel widths are better suited for links across long distances. While optional, Adding channels to the frequency list specifies possible frequencies on which the AP may broadcast. When Auto is selected, the AP scans all possible frequencies and selects the clearest channel at time of boot to begin broadcasting. Although I've defined 5745 and 5765 as possible center channels for my 80 MHz point-to-point -point link, the entire 80 MHz channel width is still used when passing traffic between AP and station. Finally, I assign a wireless passkey to secure the wireless interfaces of the point-to-point -point link. Now that the AP's wireless settings are configured, I navigate to the network page to assign IP settings. While in bridge mode, the radio works like a switch, transparently passing traffic across the wired and wireless interfaces. I leave the network configuration to simple and assign a static IP address to something unique, like .21. With a valid gateway and DNS address, the radio can reach foreign networks and resolve hostnames, like if NTP is enabled. Now, with pending changes to both wireless and network settings, I click Save Changes to apply and save to the radio's boot configuration. The AP will reboot and begin broadcasting the SSID to nearby 5 GHz stations. To begin configuring the station, I connect my laptop to the other Rocket AC and navigate to its default IP address of 192.168.1.20, then navigate to the wireless page. Select Station PTP from the Wireless Mode drop-down to configure the station side of the point-to-point -point link. If I only assign an SSID, the station will scan all available channels based on country code and frequency list to connect to the AP with the clearest signal that also broadcasts a matching SSID. Alternatively, the Site Survey tool is a more precise method for joining an AP. This tool scans the spectrum based on available frequencies, then displays information like SSID, MAC address, and signal levels of all nearby APs. The channel width should also match that of the AP. Auto 20 slash 40 slash 80 matches the bandwidth of the AP, whose bandwidth is set to 80 MHz. Listing channels in the frequency list is optional since, by default, the station scans all available channels. If, however, you do list frequencies, make sure that the station channels match the AP's channels. Just like with frequency and channel settings, the wireless security should be set to exactly match the configuration of the AP. Once finished configuring the station wireless settings, navigate to the network page to assign IP settings. Leave the station in bridge mode to transparently pass traffic. 
With simple network configuration selected, I assign the station a unique static IP address, dot .22. After setting a valid gateway and DNS address, I finish configuring the station radio. With pending changes to the wireless and network settings, I again click Save the Changes. After the station reboots, it will scan the wireless spectrum for an AP with matching wireless settings. Assuming that the wireless settings are compatible on both AP and station, the station will soon associate, authenticate, and connect to the AP to begin passing traffic. And, assuming that the AP's network settings were properly configured, my laptop can reach the AP from the remote side of the point-to-point -point link. To learn more about the wireless link parameters and tools unique to Air OS 7, check out the videos page on our website, ubnt.com/videos. Thanks for watching this video.